this doctor so a uh, very nice uh, you know uh, explanation about the diet by the doctor so now we are going to uh, going ahead to lose weight diet uh, while you are breastfeeding that is not going to hamper your breastfeeding situation or your milk situation so first important question comes uh, you know after delivery that you know uh, when can i start my losing weight so generally it is recommended that you know you should wait for at least six to eight weeks okay so for the normal delivery generally doctors will say or you know that the health fair will uh, say that you should wait for six weeks and if you are having cesarean delivery then you can go for the eight weeks and then you can plan uh, your weight loss loss journey and uh, uh, so that you know uh, at the same time you are having the good diet you know or uh, whatever the physical activity recommended by the doctor uh so you know ensure that you know your weight loss journey starts from there and meantime the same time you are giving very good milk supply to your baby so now the thing is we we'll first will discuss about the tips to lose pregnancy a pregnancy weight while you are maintaining your milk supply in the postpartum time so basically on an average a breastfeed mom needs an extra 300 to 500 calories as already doctor has uh, said you so uh, there is no much like you know in india what the people will say uh, you have delivered the baby you should eat no uh, the laddus and all but remember only extra 300 calories 300 to 500 calories you required and uh, you should have a uh, you know healthy well balanced diet uh, during the breastfeeding journey and which can ensure to you know uh, lose your weight very safely up to one pound that is around 500 grams per week so this has to be like realistic weight loss not like drastic by you know following the crash diet or following some you know very shortcut things so basically what i need to uh, say here is you have to very uh, realistic goal of what is like every week you should uh, start reducing of you uh, know 1 pound or you can say that 500 uh, grams per week and this is a healthy weight loss which you can uh, do while you are uh, feeding a baby after baby is 2 months old exercising moderately can help you to burn more fat while building muscle mass therefore helping you to shed those extra uh, kilos or extra weight uh, which, which is present with your body so uh, exercising you know also we can start after 6 to 8 weeks depending on the type of the pregnancy and before starting the exercise you must consult your doctor that uh, you should start or not because every pregnancy every delivery is different so always consult your doctor regarding the exercise Oh no, really. Now uh, we'll talk about the useful tips. What are the useful tips so that you know uh, you can lose weight when you're breastfeeding? So first, with your healthy diet, try to eat a diet or food which is high in omega three. So yeah. omega three is known as the. Over here. Hello. Rice is yeah. baking. Okay, and my audio is not clear. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Yes
your energy will remain more consistent throughout the day, which I have already told now. Now, the thing is, our doctor has already told that how much important the iron and calcium while you are feeding your baby. So, for the iron sources, uh, you can just have a lean meat, tea, spinach, lentils, black beans, and green leafy vegetables. But remember, for iron absorption, definitely you should include the vitamin C uh, food like amla, all the pieces, fruits, lemons, and all. So, whenever you are taking the iron, the iron absorption is very, very important and which is uh, very helpful when you are taking your iron sources with the proteins and vitamin C because this proteins and vitamin C are going to help you in iron absorption. Now, uh, try to have carbohydrates in a complex form. So, complex form means here is try to prefer the whole grain, whole grain product like whole wheat, whole wheat product and uh, don't go for the empty calories which are coming with the white products like maida and oil, muffins, bread, pasta and all. Try to avoid it. And when you're trying, uh, just like uh, once in a while, if you want to say, try to prepare at home with some vegetables and some new you know, recipes and all, and then you can have. Now, eat a diet which is rich in calcium and protein. Again, calcium and protein, as I said, that iron, how iron, protein and vitamin C is important for the absorption. At the same time, like if you're taking the calcium for that protein is important. So, like the calcium fish food, which is a very good in protein, is like all your dairy products are very good in calcium and having protein also. Apart from that, you can choose your smoothie, which can have milk or animal milk and a banana with that. So, that's overall, it's going to help in your calcium absorption. Now, uh, while breastfeeding, what is the best is like when you're feeding your baby, that is also a process by which you are losing extra weight. But it's not like you have to depend on only the breastfeeding. You have to eat healthy diet, healthy eating principles, which give you like healthy balanced diet and adding some extra exercises will help you a lot in losing weight. So don't depend only on the breastfeeding. Now, a loss of up to half of uh, half or a kilo per week is safe, but don't go for the drastic weight loss because it will affect uh, your feeding as well as your health after a while. And don't use, uh, that's what, don't use the crash diet or very shortcuts. Like the so crash diet means basically the diet which having no any, you know, uh, scientific evidence. Like one day the, you know, one day you are eating only fruits or one day you're eating only vegetables. One day you are eating only, you know, uh, only, not eating anything at last also coming in the crash diet. Or like all uh, the other diets like intermittent fasting, you know, keto diets and all. Just avoid all these things because... Uh, Taking all these diets will affect your health and overall your feeding to your baby. So go for a good balance, healthy or no healthy diet, balanced diet, having all the nutrients, having all the food groups in a day. Now the others like uh, these are the very interesting tips for losing weight. Like uh, you no know, avoid shopping when you are hungry. So try to have always you know uh, pre-plan the things like uh, you know this is this I must have to eat whenever I'm hungry. So don't go for like. Uh, if I'm hungry, then I'm going to uh, going for the shopping. So what uh, happens really here? So if you're hungry, uh, you are going to choose the foods which are very easily accessible to you. And it may be unhealthy foods you are just eating that time when you're hungry. And whenever you're going for the shopping, just be restricted to your list. Don't go beyond the list and don't try all the, you know, that uh, new food, new fancy food, new packaged food. Please try to avoid it strictly. And... Always try to use smaller plates for your meal so that you can maintain the small frequent meals in the day and chew your food well, eat slow. So this is also a very small tip and very important tip which is going to help in your weight loss journey. And the moment you feel I'm full, just stop eating. Don't overeat any time. So, and uh, don't eat whenever you're watching TV or you're on the screen or you are running or you know, uh, just relaxing. So don't do that. Always mind whatever you are eating. So that is very important while you are losing the weight while breastfeeding. Uh, now, I'll just give you the example like how to choose the snacks and how to cut down the fat and all. So try to go for the whole grain products, vegetables and fruit based products. So if you're choosing the snack, always I'll say that or uh, try to prefer uh, the home cooked food. And whenever you're eating something which is like packaged, try to check the ingredients and Try to check the nutritional value of that food. And for the cutting of the fat, uh, just try to go for the, you know, all avoid all the fat, uh, saturated fat foods and prefer the low fat and fat free dairy products, which is going to give you the uh, low fat as well as the protein and calcium in that. And try to have small uh, you know, amount of oil in your uh, uh, cooking. 
so that your fat should not be excess now i try to choose the food which is less or no added sugar and salt also so no added sugar and salt that uh, which is like uh, in the ingredient which is written like low salt or low sugar try to uh, prefer that food especially the sugar because sugar is a very big culprit of increasing weight now uh, now what are the uh, other uh, tips that you can do like try to prefer the healthy cooking methods like grilling steaming baking you know boiling and all so you can have your meat patient fall in the form of this uh, grilled and steam it will be healthier for you and uh, try to take at least five fruits five vegetables sorry five vegetables in a day that you can distribute in a whole day in any form which you like and two servings of the fruit like uh, in a day so you can have a different two fruits in a day 100 100 grams basically you can see that one serving is 100 grams so you can distribute your fruits in a day and just uh, just i have discussed about the low dairy products that you can use and if you are using a butter or margarine try to use very little like no pinches and all or less than 5 pieces uh, of the 5 gram or less than 1 teaspoon so that's how you can manage your eating of butter and margarine also and avoid all the foods which are high in fat high in salt and high in trans fat like all the chips all the desserts all the greasy take away so basically what are the foods which are present uh, in the packets outside you need to check the ingredients especially the sugars and fats in it now uh, limit your intake of soft drinks to juices sweet biscuits cakes and flour so this will give you extra calories which will put on more weight So try to limit or try to say no to this thing. And now exercise, which I have already discussed, see how to start, when to start. You can start after eight weeks and after the consulting of your doctor. So the basic exercise of you know the pushing the pram around the block when you were you know going to be a baby, then you can just have a little walk of thirty minutes per day. So you can manage this with your baby so that it will help you uh, to losing weight. And this is your exercise which you can start after uh, having a baby. and whatever the diet or whatever the food or snacks you are eating try to enjoy it try to be you know like just uh, always uh, enjoy your food chew your food always be like you know uh, very much in, in the in girls whenever you are eating the food just try to connect your all your you know mental and physical uh, mentally and physically with your other food or snacks whatever you eating because indirectly they are also going to lose your weight so uh, now so exercise uh, we'll just a little bit talk about the exercise so i have already told that you no know, 30 minutes per day you can uh, have it or 150 minutes per week that you can distribute the whole five days and uh, not like you know continuous seven days and that five days you can distribute and you just take 30 minutes of uh, the exercise uh, per uh, per week and uh, like and apart from this try to mind yourself like uh, self monitoring how you can do like you can just mind your steps you can mind whatever you're eating and you need a uh, holistic approach so uh, like the family support and definitely your doctors your counselor you know psychological you uh, know support you need emotional support you need and apart from that you need a very good monitoring of your daily uh, basically the diet so the calories whatever the calories you are eating that you have to balance that what calories you are burning with that so that is very very important and your self monitoring is important because every, everything like you if we are like doing the uh, weight loss journey with the breastfeeding mother so we are just guiding them we are coaching them but what they are doing like they have to self monitor whatever they are doing and whatever they especially the exercise and you know diet pattern so that it will be very helpful to lose your weight according to the goal which is fixed like Uh, 500 grams per week so it's very very important to close monitor yourself and evaluate yourself now some breastfeeding mothers may have a posit problem so they may find that okay i am losing too much of weight so quickly so these kind of concern have to discuss with the doctor and try to assess yourself that where you are wrong like you know what's going wrong and discuss with the doctor and in case you try to increase the number of foods then what you can do is you just have all the food groups in a whole day and try to eat small frequent meals and always avoid the temptation of eating foods which are high in saturated fats and added sugar and i always tell that go for small frequent meals have snacks at least you know 2 to 3 in a day and your base of meals so that will give you 5 to 6 meals in a day and that is very very important and if you want that uh, you should be in a track and if you want that okay whatever i am doing it's going right uh, path or not 
you must take advice